Hi, this is Debbie Scholar, and we're going to talk a little bit about how to price meeting management services, meeting planning services. First, let's just talk about the different skill sets that might be needed. In meetings and events, we have someone who manages the front line, someone who can really go out and be able to talk with the meeting budget holders, the meeting requesters, really has a consulting skill set to be able to identify what their needs are, and also is able to forecast meetings and events going forward. We have a hospitality sourcing skill set, someone who loves to negotiate contracts with hotels or unique venues. We have a meeting planner skill set, someone who is very logical, who can uh, loves detail, loves creativity, and really is going to look at the meeting end-to-end -to, -end to see how that meeting can best service the meeting requester. Someone who's able to build an event website, although technology today is so easy, that's, that's often the meeting planner as well. We might also need someone with a travel background to manage group travel. Someone with a financial skill set to manage all of those bills that might be coming in and looking at disputes. And of course, at the very end, making sure that we understand what the reports are that are needed. Sometimes in many organizations, this is one person end to end. But also, there are ways that you can divide it up so that it might be multiple different people. So the next thing we're going to talk about really briefly are all the different pricing models. And pricing models can range from one pricing model to multiple. And this is just a short video, but we also have a webinar that you can watch, which is much longer, that goes into detail on these pricing models. There's the cost per full-time employee or full-time equivalent. That might be something you need. Maybe it is um, you know, a cost plus model where there's actually the cost of the service plus there's a markup fee or a per person cost. If a meeting has two to X amount of people, that might be one fee. If it goes over 50 people, it might be another fee. How in the world do you know which pricing model to use? Well, I'm gonna show you, and I'm gonna show you how you can go out to RFP and be able to give your Re responders different meeting scenarios and ask them to price it, then that way you'll know what pricing model fits you best. We'll look at a couple of these right now. The per person fee. Uh, we have a sample on the screen and I'm not saying that uh, this is the right management fee whatsoever, but you might have a, a level three complexity meeting. We'll talk about complexities too, um, but maybe you have 250 people in attendance and maybe you just use a management fee and it's um, you know 100 or 200 or $300 per person based on uh, what type of um, activity is actually needed. So there's a, that type of fee and you determine what needs to be included in that particular pricing model. You could also use hotel commissions. This particular model is um, one where we might want to collect the hotel commissions for all of our sourcing activity, but then we will go ahead and charge um, a fee for all of the planning services that we do. Of course, you could also do an hourly pricing fee. How many hours does it take to source and plan a meeting? Well, using the complexity model, which is included in this worksheet, there are some, um, some guidelines for you. But of course, every organization is different. Let's also just talk, I'm going to skip a couple of these and talk about, oh goodness, the spreadsheet looks busy, right? But it's really helpful because if you have a large team and if you have multiple people that you need to put in place, you might want to consider using hotel commissions to actually pay for your strategic meetings management program. And there's an opportunity to do that too. And the webinar will actually show you that um, as well. If you are moving toward a strategic meetings management program and want a little bit more detail on how to price that information, this is a simple one. This is actually creating a meeting policy. You might have a director, you might have a manager, maybe both of them are included um, in trying to develop a meeting policy for um, your client or for if you are an organization, you might want to use your meeting planning company to do that. Here's an example of how you can uh, put together what those fees might cost. 
And so with all of this together, there's really the thing that I always encourage people to do is to create scenarios so that your meeting planning um, responders to your request for proposal actually can um, really dig in and give you some prices. I love using meeting scenarios because what that does is it really forces the meeting planning companies to come back and either tell you, you know, what they can price or how they priced it using different pricing models. And this will really give you a hands-on exercise and data as to which model is best for you. And lastly, I think what also is really important is really being able to use the right request for proposal. I created the industry's really first standard request for proposal um, I guess last year. And one of the things it includes is information on strategic meetings management, venue, property, sourcing, a meetings planning company. And what you what this will actually show you are, is some actual language that um, will kind of go hand in hand with all the different pricing structures. For example, if I go to the meeting planning company and if I want them to be able to uh, to manage a meeting for me, um, this will give them um, in detail exactly what I'm expecting them to do for me. How to manage tax, you know, deductibility if it's a international, whether it's value added taxes, VAT, VAT. Um, it might also, you know, um, we well, might also want them to be able to describe what their crisis management plans are. So all in all, I think what's really important is using the right request for proposal and also using meeting scenarios and using all of the right pricing models based on uh, what might work for you. I hope you join the webinar and it will be recorded. And to complement the webinar, there's also a meeting pricing uh, toolkit which you can download. Thanks so much and have a wonderful day.